everyone doing? If you're in the Kansas City area, hope you're staying warm, but what a great day to stay in and craft, right? Hey, Kathy. Um, while I'm waiting for maybe a few more to arrive, um, I was just going to share some news. Um, it's kind of sad, but not too sad. The butterfly punch right now is unorder unorderable. If you've already ordered it, you will get it. Um, um, it'll be coming, but from this point on, they've made it unorderable. I guess they had a, it's been very popular, more par popular than Stampin' Up! thought it would be. And, um... It's just taking a little bit of time to get them manufactured and in stock again. So I think an estimated availability is the middle of March, but um, it is going to carry over into the new catalog. So yippee, yippee, yippee. That's um, good news for us and possibly means there might be, I don't know because they don't share things with us. Hi, Loopy. There might be another coordinating stamp set to go with it. So, but I don't know that for sure. Um, usually, some stamp sets will carry over. So, I don't know. I won't know that until the end of May or whenever we get our new catalog. I'm going in April to see the new catalog going to San Antonio and I will see the product there but they did say the stamp is carrying over however it's on it's unorderable at this time and it will be available middle to end of March so I wanted to share a um, hey Michelle I wanted to share an alternative if you love uh, the butterflies and this is on page Thirteen of the occasions catalog if you don't have a catalog and you do not have a Stampin Up demonstrator. I would love to be your um, Stampin Up demonstrator. I Would be happy to send you one of these catalogs free of charge Just comment in the comments below and then I will contact you. I'll private message you for the um, Your mailing um, information we're going to use the Beauty Abounds stamp set that coordinates with this Butterfly Beauty Thinlet dies, and they do marvelous, magical things. I just love it. Um, so, another bit of news I wanted to share is in the Celebration brochure, the ribbon is unorderable. It has been very, very popular as well. And I believe it will be available maybe the middle or end of March, but I'm not sure. So darn about that. Um, another thing in here, if you're interested in the Home to Roo stamp set, I did notice this morning it is getting on low inventory. However, Stampin' Up! manufactures their own stamp set, so I don't imagine that will go in back order. I think they'll just... To just start producing more of those. Um, I haven't done anything with that yet, but I plan on it. And then we're going to use a product today, the Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick Foil Sheets. These are, um, what do you call it when they, they kind of have a, see that? It looks really good in the camera. <laughs> Hi, Jan. Um, iridescent? That's the word. Iridescent. And then here's Lovely Lipstick. It's not really iridescent, but the um, Grapefruit Grove is really iridescent. So it's really pretty. We're going to use that in today's project. However, it is getting to be uh, very low in inventory, and it's possible that it could become um, unorderable. You get four sheets of the Grapefruit Grove and four sheets of the Lovely Lipstick, and you get that free with a $50 purchase. So if you are interested in those foil sheets, normally you only get two sheets of foil sheets um, 
in a pack, but they're giving us four 12 by 12 of each color. And if you ordered the the um, Beauty Abounds stamp set and Butterfly Beauty Thinlet Dyes bundle, it is $55. So you would qualify automatically with this bundle for the foil sheets. But I wouldn't wait if you're interested in those foil sheets because they are getting very low in inventory. And if I can help you with an order, I would love to do that. So let's get stampin'. I didn't um, have, hi Shelly. I didn't have time to get my um, sample done ahead of time, so we're gonna just do it together. It's in my head, so you know how this could go. <laughs> I'm starting out with a an eight and a half by five and a half piece of crumb cake cardstock, and I scored it right in the middle, four and a fourth, so you could make two card bases out of one eight and a half by eleven inch sheet of cardstock. And then I'm using a piece, a four inch by five and a fourth inch piece of the Valentine paper that um, we've been using all month long. And it is on page five of the Occasions catalog. All my Love Designer series paper. When I buy a pack of paper, my goal is to use every bit and scrap of that paper. <laughs> um, I don't want to waste a bit because I want to make room so I can buy some more paper. So I have been using this a lot and I love it. So we're going to place that four by five and a fourth inch piece of designer series paper on the crumb cake card base. And then I am going to use my triple banner punch. This is a two inch by, I believe it's four. Yeah, a two inch by four inch piece of the designer series paper. I love this side too. But we're gonna use this side. And then I wanted to show you something. You can push your paper if you have a triple banner punch or interested you can you can push it all the way to the end um, but I find to use less paper I just push it till the the um, edges of the bottom reach that way I don't use as much of the paper and on the triple banner punch it has a one inch slot a one and a half and a two inch so you can use anything smaller than an inch up to two inches with that punch. I use it all the time. Or you can just use your scissors and cut right in. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna get all my pieces together and then we'll start assembling. For our inside sentiment, well for our outside sentiment, let's start with that first. I'm gonna use the Lovely Lipstick Ink because that coordinates with our designer series paper. I love how Stampin' Up, that's what sold me on um, Stampin' Up is the coordination because I would spend hours and hours and hours trying to coordinate colors, papers, inks, and uh, yeah. Okay, I just got this in an order um, yesterday, so I'm kind of happy to use it and I haven't put my stickers on yet. But this is going to be a little friendship card. And I just have this scrap of Whisper White that we're going to use. And I, I'm going to use a punch, so I bet I need to. There we go. And it doesn't have to be um, perfect because we're going to punch it out. I need to see. I'm thinking this one would be perfect. This is the one and three fourths inch circle punch. Love my circle punches. Okay, and the sentiment I used was our friendship isn't one big thing. Yeah, Kathy, they had a little um, thing on Facebook yesterday explaining kind of the back order issues and um, 
it's just been an overwhelming demand for the products, which is great. Um, and it's just something every company, you know, deals with. Okay, we're going to do our friendship isn't one big thing. It's a million little things on the inside. This I kind of want to be perfectly straight, so I'm going to put the stickers on. So I'm going to give you guys a lesson in how to put stickers on the Stampin' Up! stamp sets. When you get your stamp sets, um, these are called cling stamps, you'll get a sheet of little stickers. And on one side, there's a split where that's going to just split off. Now some people, and then there's going to be a covering on this, and you want to pull that covering off. Some people do it in, you know, a couple of steps. I think that's why there's these two pieces, or maybe it's just a, I just do it all at once. <laughs> because, I don't know, that's just how I do it. So I'm going to try and line this up without putting my head in the camera. I kind of line up the one side or one edge, and then the others seem to follow. And then you have your sticker on there. Okay. So this is going to be the inside of our card. I want to try a little bit better not to make it all wonky. Make sure it's on my block straight. Are you all having coffee at Coffee and a Card? I am suffering with such bad acid reflux. I know, we're among friends, so I can share with you. So I'm having a nice big glass of water. Um, I only allow myself one cup of coffee now, which is about to kill me. Um, because of the acid reflux. I really need to figure out what's wrong. I read an article online, so you know it has to be true, that our bodies can be acidic. So I'm thinking my body's very acidic. Okay, that is the inside of the card. Um, Bloopy, I, I love iced tea, so I did buy some um, decaf iced tea bags, but I haven't tried the decaf coffee. I don't know if it would make a difference. I'll, I should try that. But then what's the point? <laughs> I usually get up and before I do anything is have a cup of coffee. I grab my coffee and let my doggies out. And then I sit kind of in a stupor. Okay, that is the middle. And it would be kind of fun to put one of these butterflies in there, don't you think? So let's put this little guy that's flying. Luby, you're so funny. Let's see, this block's a little big. I'm going to put him just right down here at the bottom. I kind of like to put things at the bottom. I don't know why. Isn't that cute? Love those butterflies. Okay, we're done with the stamping. So we're going to finish the front. I am going to wrap a little bit of the Whisper White 1 8 inch sheer ribbon around our little banner here. And Tie it in a bow. I, I am copying this card, although I'm using some different products. When you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you get this fun little email every Tuesday, and it has ideas in it. And so I saw this card using a different stamp set, and I thought, that's what I'm going to do. For the coffee in a card. Oh, you guys know how I fidget with these bows. So 
So if you've ever thought of becoming a demonstrator, there's lots of different kinds of demonstrators. There's hobby demonstrators where they just join just to get the deal, just to get the discount. Um, and right now Stampin' Up! has a really good deal to join. And I would love to talk to you about it, but you get a hundred and $75 worth of product, any product you want. It can be clearance rack, anything that's on that Stampin' Up! sells for $99 and free shipping. You have to pay tax. Or they're selling this wonderful bag, and I think I've posted it before. And you get the bag for if you want the bag, which I love the bag. You can get that for an extra $129 or $29. So you can join for $99 um, and not get the bag or $129 and get the bag. Okay, I'm just going to stick our little banner right there. And then I'm going to pop up our sentiment, our punched out sentiment with um, anyway, I was telling you about the different kinds of demonstrators. There's hobby demonstrators. Um, there's people like me that just do it for a part-time business. There's people who do it as a career and make lots of money. Um, and there's people that just do it and get their friends together and they share the discount and, um, it's just a fun little club. So, um, you can do anything you want with it. Okay. Now we're going to use our foil sheets and we're going to use these butterfly thinlet dies. Remember that I showed you that came in the bundle and look, look at all of these you get. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. So I'm going to use these little ones, and we're going to have the butterflies kind of flying around our card. So I'm kind of stingy with the specialty paper, <laughs> but you get four sheets of this, so I, I can kind of um, get crazy with it. Let me grab my big shot. Actually, you get eight sheets. You get four of the Lovely Lipstick and four of the Grapefruit Grove. But still, I kind of hang on to it. Use it for special. And plus, you know, it's shiny. You only need a little bit of bling. Okay, I'm going to take these little... Make sure that's in the camera. I'm sorry about the glare. Just these little butterflies. There's a kajillion of them. I don't know how many there are. <laughs> but there's a lot. Which I love. Because then I can just do it in one mighty swoop of the big shot. So I'm just going to pick several of these smaller butterflies out. And this is just an inch wide piece of the foil paper. And I like to use an odd number. So let's do five little butterflies. Hi, Donna. And I just, since these are fine, I didn't use my precision base plate, but I'm gonna just kind of go back and forth a couple of times. I tried it before to make sure it would work without the best precision base plate and it did I just I'm just using my magnetic platform on the, the big shot these little boogers you got to make sure you don't lose those little die cuts my craziness you know how I do okay So we've got 12 of these. Where's my little dye brush? 
I unpack things from my class and sometimes they don't get put back where they belong. So we'll just use our little paper piercer here. Aren't they sweet? I hope I'm still on. My computer screen just went black. But yes, Kathy, um, all of the all of these come in the um, the um, the dies, the framelits. They're called thinlets, I guess. I never can figure out why one is a thinlet and one is a framelit, but I should know that, right? So it's really a good value. I mean, this is something you'll use forever. I mean, butterflies, come on. They never go out of style. Okay. And then, oops. Going all over the place. Then to put this these on, I'm just going to use a little dab of um, glue. I don't know if my fine tip glue here. That one is kind of, let me grab a multi-purpose liquid glue. Like I said, I, um, I'm unpacking from my classes and I don't have everything put back how they should be. Now we'll just hope that this one has some glue in it. And it does. Okay, I like this glue better. You could probably use a tiny little um, I'm going to bend their little wings up a little bit. I'm going to try using my tool here. Oh, it's pretty already. I'm going to grab my, my little thing here that I like to do. Put some glue in there. It only takes a little dab. Little dab will do ya. And I'm going to bend his little wings up. Oh, I love this card. We're almost done here. Sorry about the phone call coming in. I usually turn the sound off. wonder what would have happened if I would have answered it. <laughs> I film with my phone, and that's why I think that's funny. I wonder if we would have, you guys would have heard my conversation. I need to make a, I don't know. What do you guys think? There's three. You think we need five? I don't want to make it too much. I think it would be cute to put one right here, don't you? One more. Go big or go home, right? Let's put one more. This one's kind of uh three is perfect. <laughs> I overdid, Michelle. I overdid. I did five. But I think I'm going to stop with four. I think that's going to be too much. So probably should have stopped with three. But I kind of like that little guy right there on the tag. Anyway, guys, that is the card. 
I love it. Our friendship isn't one big thing. It's a million little things. That's so sweet. So, um, you guys have a great Wednesday. And um, if you're in the Kansas City area, please stay warm. Last I checked, it was like negative something. Um, and if I can help you with any products that I showed you today or any Stampin' Up! products, I would um, be happy to do that. And if you're interested in joining Stampin' Up!, give me a private message and we can chat. Um, you guys go out there and have a great, wonderful Wednesday. Bye-bye.